。照相啊，对我来讲啊，它不但是一个纸面的事情，一生的这个经历可以保留。我一九三四年出生在上海。所以我家的出生啊是比较清贫的。我们国家是经历了一个翻天覆地的一个变化。今年是八十四岁，假如没有照片的话，这个历史的情况就会一路遗忘这样子。Photography really has a strong place in Chinese culture. It's something that's a ritual. I remember one day I was in this recycling plant in the north of Beijing, and there were these bags where I could see piles of 35 millimeter negatives. I started looking at them, and they were photographs taken by everyday people in huge quantities. 一九八八年，我参加一次北京市的先进的科研院所长的会议。我看到上面的会议的地点下来一个大的瀑布，我就找到这个底下的湖泊。这个湖泊里面呢，有一块很大的一块石头，我就躺下来了，开会的朋友一块给拍下来了。生活的这个愉快感，把它记录下来。当时拍这个照片的人把这个交警就给扔了。At the very beginning of it, I bumped into a photo that I quite liked. It's this guy who is laying on a stone in the middle of a river with a little smile, and he looks like a, like a mermaid to me. This photo was the perfect example of a new China that's coming out of very hard times. A time when things got a bit simpler, a bit happier. And I think witnessing these small events, these intimate memories, This archive was telling the story of a place and the story of a time. When I gathered over 150,000 photos, I started sharing on social media, and then outside of China in exhibitions and so on. And I called this collection Beijing Silver Mine. Through this project, all of these photographs were always people I didn't know. But then one day, someone decided to get in touch. I didn't think that my daughter would suddenly call me and tell me that the photos I took 30 years ago have now been circulated in the United States countries. My daughter took them away and I was able to eat them. We ate a meal together. When I could see his face and how he looked right now, I must say I was pretty moved. It's a photo I've been traveling with and showing in many countries. I mean, when you think about it, what are the odds? Ah, this one, I can't tell you. This one, I can't tell you. I'm very grateful to Su Wen Xiao. 人家从这个照片当中可以感到中国人的生活的富裕。我的那照片啊，会受到国内外的很多人的那个欣赏和尊重。这一点呢，是我这一辈子都没想到的这样子。<音>